What if I told you that the actions of the Phantom Thieves may have doomed all of mankind itself? Huh? The moment man... <laughs> is risking itself to prevent those who have lost sight of life's brilliance from luring the world to self-destruction. The entirety of Mementos is a nest of shadows formed by the cognition of society. So by presiding over it, Yaldabaoth grants mankind their wish and allows for the shadows to feast upon the distorted desires of humanity, allowing for a sort of symbiosis that prevents the fall of mankind and the return of Nyx. So by defeating Yaldabaoth, we have set mankind back upon the path of self-destruction because as Nyx said, mankind's fate was sealed the moment they entrusted their hopes, fortune, and future to the cards. But to what context though? Cause isn't Makoto's great seal our last line of defense? Well, my friends, here's where things are gonna get pretty interesting. We do know that Nyx will come back and the only thing protecting us from that happening so quickly is the fact that one boy, one boy decided to sacrifice himself and we have no idea of knowing how long the great seal will actually last. So for all we know, wishing for death will probably cause Makoto to become worn out and it, the, the great seal could break. We see that thanks to Yaldabaoth, through cognition, not only does it prevent people from wishing for death by taking away their will to think for themselves, he also prevents Nyx from coming because people aren't wishing for death. It seems as though Makoto Yuki's great seal may not be so great after all. I mean, this is so serious. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. But generally, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I'm not here to misinform you or spread any false information or anything like that. It's all theoretical. You know what I mean. So the world of Persona is coming to an end. It seems as if Elizabeth's journey may be more crucial to the story of Persona than we once originally thought. But that does raise the question, how will Elizabeth save Makoto? My dear sister, do you think I can save that person? It may be impossible alone, but what if I joined forces to do it? Well, Elizabeth doesn't have to do anything because we're helping her save Makoto. How are we doing that? Well, it's by changing the hearts of mankind. All across Japan so far, we have seen three deities of the shadow world emerge. Nyx is the avatar of death because of mankind's wish for the end. Nyx was only drawn to Tatsumi Port Island due to the mass amounts of experimentation that led to the spreading of shadows who inflicted apathy syndrome upon their victims. So the shadow's influence on mankind is sourced by the corruption in our souls, our distorted desires, our want for unnecessary things. And shadows have the ability to feast upon your distortion, leaving you with the after effects known as apathy syndrome. Atlas's writing changes a lot based on what game they want to make. Basically, what I'm trying to say is take it all with a grain of salt. The story is written by Atlas, therefore, it's a fictional story, obviously, and the facts can change. It's not like most fictional stories where everything is fixed and has to be particularly correct. Why do the shadows choose to hide in plain sight? Why did the shadows need the dark hour? Why don't they just proceed to kill us all? We know that they aren't afraid to attack humans in broad daylight. So the question is, why don't they? Well. It's thanks to the deities. And I think you're starting to see where this is coming around to, because at the end of each Persona game, we kill a god. When these shadow gods come into our world and start meddling with humans, they aren't essentially up to anything bad. It's only when humans get involved that we start to see bad things start to happen. Kind of like how in Persona 4, yes, Izanami did indeed create the TV world, but it wasn't intended for some dude to just start throwing some people in there. It's always the same message at the end of the day. We always see that the deity themselves isn't exactly evil. They were trying to carry out a will of some sort, something along the lines of a wish for mankind, Like, but it was just miscommunicated just misunderstood. Humans can be pretty complicated. That ends up confusing them, and next thing you know it, 
Well, it looks like now we gotta fight. And it's just so unreasonable, dude. So unreasonable. It's not to say that I don't agree with the big overall message of each of these Persona games, but it shows you that it's all just one big misunderstanding. If we were able to properly communicate that it's better for us to figure out things on our own and solve our own problems and carve out our own paths, then perhaps none of the battles that take place in these games need to even transpire. By changing the hearts of mankind, we also affect their cognition, therefore taking away the distorted desires that the shadows feast upon, and we also prevent apathy syndrome. We recreate that same feedback loop that Yaldabaoth had, but we do it in our own way. Someone awakens to their persona, and they go on a life-changing journey that not only changes their life, but it also slowly helps Elizabeth and it changes the entirety of mankind's fate. To think the day would come where I would behold my own arcana and not that of a visitor's. So if you want to help out and want to help Elizabeth, doing your best every day theoretically helps prevent Nyx from coming and destroying the entirety of the world of Persona. So work hard and prove yourself and do the things that you always wanted to do and don't hide away or turn away from the truth. Face the cruelty of our reality and our society and be better than this. Seeing as we have a little bit of extra time, I just want to briefly thank you for watching my video. Because although I may not be the best of the best when it comes to making content, who really ever is? I'm going to make a lot more of these and um, they're going to go across a wide range of topics. I'm not just a persona YouTuber. I'm a everything type of guy. Um, but realistically, though, uh, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Managatsu, and once again, I'll get out of here. You're here now. Bye. Right. Time for my 15th playthrough. Oh, oh, so hell no.